Welcome to part three of the Lucian Vaults. And in this episode, we are coming here to Fausio Hollow. And the thing is, I didn't actually go into the vault area here because I didn't have the key. But yes, there was a vault here. I made a mistake and said there wasn't a vault here, but there was a vault here. And I'm an idiot for it, and I apologize, and I said that because I accidentally said that in my past playthrough. So, with that said, let's open the door and prepare ourselves because this is going to be a level 50 vault. As, I think level 55 volt, I suppose. And you'd think that despite it being level 55, it would be easy. Well, uh, no. No, it's not. It's kind of medium difficulty. You can still take it on if you're a level 100, like I am. But there's still some sort of medium difficulty. Specifically that, even though you have, um, well, I should say items, there is the fact of these guys right here. These damn samurai recolors. The Yojimbo and I think somebody else that's supposed to show up later. Right. But whatever the case. Uh, oh yeah, and these guys are here too. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, you fight these guys in a hunt. And they were at a higher level than level 58. I think they were level 72 when you faced them in a hunt. Their level decreased. And this is a Gamma Strand, once again. I know me fighting Gamma Strands may be boring, but let's be honest, folks. I'm only showing you this once, just so you could actually see. But however, the only reason why I actually continued on with uh, Kikatric Trench and also here is because the dungeons are a different layout as opposed to the straight down basement tower of Castlemark and eventually Cresthole. And plus, there's not that many floors. I can assure you this. Oh boy, here we go again. Another Yojimbo. Let's just kill him. I don't have to pay him money so that uh, I end up getting hit with Zanmato. I mean, it's just bullshit that you still have to pay Yojimbo money for Zanmato when the computer could do it for free. It's bullshit. Still think that's bullshit to this day. But bear in mind one thing. You must be careful with um, <clears throat> these samurai. Which is why I told you that this is a medium hard difficulty. It's not as hard as Castle Mark, but it's still hard. Because as you just saw, one swipe, and it dropped Gladiolus almost down to zero. He was down to one until the fight was over with. You're going to be running into specifically those samurai enemies that will be causing instant death. So, yeah. Better than, oh, and then there's this thing. Oh, crap. I forgot about you. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, there was at least one or two of them, no, three of them, actually, in uh, a hunt. So you only get to fight one, so he's not as much of a problem. Thankfully, you'll only see him once. So yeah, you're going to keep running into Yojimbo, and again, you have items to abuse. Whether it be Phoenix Downs, or whether it be, uh... Elixirs, potions, anything. You still have items. <clears throat> so, if there's anything that you need to be on the lookout for, it would probably be... Oh yeah, I also forgot about this. The skeletons. Be on the lookout for these guys, because just like with all the other demons, especially these guys, they will steal your items and you don't want that now do you 
They're not new, because skeletons were in Castle Mark, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, as a matter of fact, they were. That's like a level 63 strand of those guys, and they were in, like, their 40s or 50s in Castle Mark. So they're like 65 here. Now there's one ziggurat. Uh, just be careful when you're trying to deal with ziggurat. I mean, I didn't actually get to fully show off what he could do, but he's just like Fornus and every other gargoyle type enemy. They tend to leap, they do critical hits, and more importantly, they tend to teleport. Back to it. <clears throat> Now, is there anything else I need to show off? Oh, right. Wait, no, that's that's just one of those. Never mind. It's another single battle with a foreigner. But I do believe we get like three important items, which is probably why the game tell you to come here first. And by the way, seeing as how I got the Dominion and the Hyper Magnum, even though I don't really need the Hyper Magnum. Dominion, I do need. This is the important item that we needed to get. The Grand Chamberlain. Equip it to Ignis, and Ignis will automatically heal Noctis when he's below 50. As in, like, comes over to Noctis and heals him with any sort of item that he has. That's not uh, equipped to you. In other words... Noctis will stay above 50% health so long as Ignis is alive. Or stay at half health so long as Ignis is alive. And therein lies the problem. With Castle Mark, you can't really heal yourself completely. Because those health packs do not completely restore your health to full. And on top of that, if for some reason. Oh god! Something like that happens in Castle Mark, and Iggy had the Grand Chamberlain on. It doesn't matter because you're still gonna die. Grand Chamberlain only heals your health, not revives. So, yeah. Magic Tech X as soon as you're. Oh, shit! And see what I mean? By medium hard? Yeah, one swipe. One swipe, and I wasn't even prepared. To actually deal with him, and of course he deals stasis damage to me, asshole. Yeah, one fell swoop, and I pretty much was dropped down to zero. Don't worry, it'll happen again eventually. They got this is a castle mark. Now, if you excuse me, I got something in my nose. I'll be right back. All right, and I'm back. Once again, we're dealing with skeletons. And once again, I forgot to mention that this place has multiple pathways. Make sure you find those multiple pathways and put them to good use. Alright. That takes care of the level 60 enemies here. Once again, I was checking to see how much time I had left in the recorder. I'll be picking this up and this is a mega potion. I need all the potions I can get. Let's face it, people. While Mega Potions may seem helpful, Elixirs is where it's at. Alright. Let's continue on. Alright, we got more enemies. <clears throat> and, just like before, these skeletons can be taken down. Oh! Wow, a titanium bingo! Didn't think one of them dropped one. Oh well, I guess they did. Yeah, don't swing that around. Ooh, Mega Elixir. That's actually needed. Mega Elixirs are more to your more your friends than actual uh mega potions and Ooh, that is something we need. We can find the organics here, ladies and gentlemen. This was... This is actually Ignis' ultimate weapon, if not Noctis. 
Although Noctis will be weaker when he uses this, Ignis, on the other hand, will be stronger. So we're going to give this to Ignis. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Organics is supposedly the sword that uh, Nyx used, if I'm not mistaken. Or was it something else? I know it was one of these damn sword, one of these damn weapons here. Because I know we get, like, uh, a more powerful sword, like a more powerful uh, broadsword. Not great sword. A more powerful broadsword at the end of this uh, vault. So, and speaking of which, if you are using the Magitech Exo suit and you've took too much damage, make sure you stop over here to uh, get yourself something to eat. <clears throat> I mean, I would rather save uh, the ingredients for the golden tail soup and go and get something that uh, Noctis could use because of the fact that I'm running out of the ingredients of golden tail soup and I'm going to have to get some more off screen so that way we can finish up the rest of these vaults. And the only reason why I'm getting the, uh, I'm getting something that Noctis likes is because Noctis will have a chance of having critical hits because it's his favorite food. <clears throat> Alright. Now that we're done here, let's just, uh, keep on going. Because we only got a, a little bit left to go. I mean, don't be surprised, but we're halfway there. And if you, for some reason, die, this would be your go-to point. Let's see. Oh, there you guys are. And that's Ayakashia. Now, for those of you who don't remember Ayakashi, this son of a bitch was actually level 115, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, no, actually he was level 73 out in the wilderness, but he's level 55 here. And soon you'll run into areas where you see two of them, so bear that in mind if you actually run into him. Now, if I were you, I would spam Armature, but mostly you would actually want to use Star Shell. Now, why would you want to use Star Shell? Because everything here is a demon. That's why you use Star Shell. And ooh, yes! Yes! I would want that right now. A Centaurian Bangle is awesome. Well, that is if Prompto and Ignis weren't already at low level, but if they since they're not. I think I would go on ahead and give them a, uh, well, I already, I'll just keep the items that they have right now. I mean, yeah, they could certainly use the HP boost, they really could. But at this point in time, I think their strength boost is more important, especially Prompto's. Not bad, a beautiful bottle. I mean, I could use that for crafting an Elemancy. And see? Just like a... Wait, hold on. Wait, I think I got that wrong. That's not Ayakashi. I thought it was, but it's not. It's Ayamusha, actually. That's not as bad as Ayakashi. But still, no wait, no, I'll remember this asshole. He was actually one of the bo no, he was the boss of, um, Below Mine. Now I remember him. And, yeah, now that I think about it, he's a Gamma Strand, so. Oh wait, no, actually he's a new one. Haha, <laughs> go get him, Prompto. Yeah, I might want to heal myself. And my friends. Ignis got one hit KO'd. And that's not cool. We're alive. Let's celebrate by eating 
see. There's one path here, and I think one path here. We'll have to follow them both to the end and see where it leads. Because when you do that, there's items in the other end of the... in both of the paths. And getting items is always good. Oh, God! Yeah, you can just stop stabbing me. That's annoying. And he killed Ignis again! Stop doing that! <sighs> Seriously, stop killing our chef! How we're supposed to cook recipes if he constantly dies! Alright, let's just pick this up. It. He tried to kill me for an earth gemstone. Nice. That, that's sarcasm, ladies and gentlemen, because that's not nice. It's awful. Alright, let's try this again. Whoa! Hold on. Can't have that now, can we? Now, parrying him is actually a pretty good thing. I mean, yeah, sometimes the timing can be bad. Other times, the timing could be absolutely brilliant. Hmm, lavender oil. Oh, wait, now I know what lavender oil does. Lavender oil, I think, is another um, item that you use to protect yourself from darkness. Yes, lavender oil protects you from darkness. So that's an equipment. Not bad. I mean, not good. Because that means you're wasting a spot putting an item on. And, by the way, <laughs> you got to actually spend 333 AP just to get an item slot. Or the last one, actually. Alright. Now it's time for us to go further. I think this is the right path. And once again, we are running into Ayamusha. I thought it was Ayakashi, but it's not. It's Ayamusha. Doesn't matter, because he's dead. Alright, let's pick this up here. I'm pretty sure we're getting closer and closer to the end. In fact, we made it to the end of this area. Wait, there's nothing here! Just an Oracle Ascension coin? Wow, that was a chip! <sighs> that was just two areas. Now, let's just head back up to the... Uh, let's just head back up to the surf. I want to say head back up to the surface. Head back up to the point where we split paths. And then I could probably find the right way to go. Because I took the... I took both sides... I think the center is where we need to go. This one will go... Yeah, this is the one we need to go to. Right here. Alright. I think I'm going to stop this for a little bit. Oh, sorry about that, folks. It was a little bit of a pause there. But we're just taking out some skeletons on the way. And by the way, if this is seeing as how this is the right way, it's gonna be barred off. What can I say? Let's see what we got here. Sky gemstone. Right. Now, if we had weapons that needed sky gemstone, we, we could use that. But my weapons need a uh magnetron, a cactor needle, and I do believe something else I forgot what the other one oh wait hold on that's another one of these uh gummy amides uh, I think that's what his name is you know it's Garamide but yeah it's that same uh iron giant recolor that you faced in Zinagatos no, wait, no, actually, this was a hunt. This was a hunt. This isn't the one in Zinagatos. 
but still, Iron, I mean, Great Swords is actually your friend. And so is Overwhelm. Overwhelm is your best friend. Provided that you're actually doing damage to the enemy. Mm, the base bait note. I'm gonna sell it. Oh, wait, no, that's a diamond bracelet. That's that's pretty good. Pretty good for selling. Cause I don't need it. Cause I got something even stronger on me. I got like two um, exo suits and I think a magitek suit. Whatever the case, folks. We're just gonna make short work of these enemies here. By the way, they are also weak to dagger, and I do believe they are weak to uh, broadsword. Either way, oh, and great swords. Great swords actually does the most damage. Let's <clears> go. <throat> but seeing as how they're demons, they're also weak to holy, and I kind of regret uh, not keeping the golden tail soup. But I was running out of the ingredients for it. I'm gonna have to go and buy them before the next car trip. No, at, no, during the next car trip, not after, during. But I do believe the ingredients for the items we need are uh, available so long as we have at least one of them. Or I could just simply find them over the uh, Wizard's Chocobo outpost before I continue on with the remaining vaults. Let's just pick you up. And Mega Potion. Not not really good at this point. I mean, I could use them. I could use all the items I could get because after going through Castle Mark, I kind of need them. But yeah. Nice how you're just standing there waiting for somebody to attack you and you can't. And. Hold on. Let me. Let me use. Oh, never mind. I was about to use. Um. I was about to use the armature chain, but unfortunately, somebody got the last hit before I did. Oh, and another, uh, another pause. Let's celebrate by eating something dead. Don't worry, I think we are closing in on the end this time. For real. We are at the end, cause here's the boss! Oh boy! I mean, you can get off as much good hits as humanly possible. Again, I regret actually not keeping the Golden Tail Soup. Because regeneration really could have helped right about now. Alright. This thing is a really, really powerful strand of the Iron Giant. It is the... I can't see its name. He's swinging too goddamn fast. Ah. The... Chor the Choro Dorama. I think I mis... I mispronounced that and misread that. I don't know. But I couldn't see it because his name is covering his incredibly bulky frame. And it's incredibly small text. So yeah, I couldn't really see it like talking about it. But if there's one thing that I also regret not coming in here with, it's the thermal suit. The thermal suit would have actually made short work of this guy. Cause he's particularly using fire. Though it would not protect me from uh <clears throat> gravity, because he is an iron giant after all. And it also will not protect me from Earthquake. It will protect me from being hit by that sword. In fact, I do believe the um, Thermal Suit actually has complete and total protection, which would nullify the hit. That means everything else in this arsenal would have actually dealt some damage to me. And Warm Innards actually works too. Uh, granted, if you're willing to sacrifice a setup, I mean, a slot in your setup to. Put on the warm innards. Alright. I tried to increase my defense and offense, but I don't think that's actually working. He's still bitch slapping me. 
Oh shit! Yeah, and by the way, I just need to point this out. His defense is ridiculously high. And the only thing that actually will do the most damage to him... Armager. So, yeah. Prompto Starshell actually would work wonders on this guy. It would break the defense. And more importantly, it would actually do some serious damage to him while we're taking... <clears throat> well, that was a perfect dodge there. While we're, like, taking liberties and kicking his ass. <clears throat> yeah, this guy... This is actually the first time I'm actually giving it my all without the Match Attack Exosuit. I feel like I need to give it a rest for a little while. And only use it whenever I really need to, because I can't just beat every single vault with it. And I'm not. I mean, it would help if I actually learn how to dodge. Come on, Prompto. Take him to, take him to school. You were the MVP in the last part. Maybe you'll be the MVP this time. Oh, actually, that was an MVP move. All right, let's just wail on him. Hopefully, I'll wail on him enough to do another armature, and this armature will actually take him out. Because again, the um, the Tarantaroma is actually weak to only holy. Because he's pretty much got a half resistance to everything else. This is why I said magic does not work. And wow, I almost died there. Do be careful though, because he tends to buff himself. I just want to point that out too. Yes, there will be a point where he'll get so angry that he'll buff himself. And that is where things will start going downhill. Thankfully, he has to come to that point. That we're constantly stunning him in the midst of his animations of throwing his, um... Gravity, and also swinging his sword. I mean, he will stagger after every thousands of hits. I mean, after every thousand points of hits. But still, it's only a matter of time before we put the final push on him and finally put the brakes on this guy. He's not done yet. He's still got a little bit more left. Kinda makes me wish I could have switched to Prompto or Gladio. Preferably Gladio. Oh yeah, and Gladio's impulse will actually do some damage too. Somewhat. Yeah, let's start healing. Ouch! You... You bastard! Alright. It's just a matter of time before we finally finish him off. Wait, oh, he's on his knees again! And the damn DVR cut off this time around. All we need to do is just keep wailing on him, and this time we'll finish him. There we go. And that makes vault number three done. And for that, we've got the enhancer. I think this is Nox's sword. I guess. Whatever the case, folks. The enhancer is weak is weaker than the Ultima Blade, so I'm going to put that where the Radiant Lance is. Until I get myself a better Lance, that is. So for now, the Enhancer is going to be making its home with Noctis. And I do believe now would be an excellent time to get out of this place, because we pretty much defeated everything here. Let's check the bestiary. I'm pretty sure that was a new one. Yeah, I'm more than sure that was a new strand. Yep, it was. 
It is called. Hold on, I can see it. Chandravama. That's what his name was. I couldn't see because his goddamn name was camouflaged by his body. 286 HP. That shouldn't be a problem, but his defense was 10,000. And he had a uh, plus 50 resistance to everything but holy. There was actually not that much I could have done if I hadn't have. I mean, there would have been something I could have done if I had just kept the ringtail. No, the golden tail soup. Up. Sorry, that's what I meant to say. If I would have had the golden tail soup, I would have already beaten this dungeon by now. But I put it. I gave it a rest because I was running out of the ingredients. One specific ingredient. So I'm gonna have to rebuy that off screen. So I'll at least have it for the remaining vaults. Speaking of which, we have finished three out of the eight vaults. And next time on Final Fantasy 15. We are going to be going over to the Below Mines. Yeah, that mine where there's nothing but level 7 goblins and there was that one samurai that was there. But we're going to see how hard the vault is there in part 4. This is Arfi Man 985. See you guys next time.